Um, and I was looking at the job description, they actually have some pretty cool benefits. Okay, can you come in tomorrow at 9 a.m.? 9 a.m.? Yeah, that's fine. If I were to call the McDonald's the last time that you put the one on roast mounts, uh, how would you think they would rate your your work ethic. What is going on guys? I am so, so excited to bring you a new series to the channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name's Kish. I'm an entrepreneur. Nice. Based out of Phoenix, Arizona, and we do pretty much anything business, lifestyle. Over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be taking you guys behind the scenes, looking at everything I do as an employee of McDonald's. Now with that said, I currently don't have a job at McDonald's, but I'm gonna be applying here right after I film this little segment. So I'm gonna show you literally everything from the interview, day in the life, how much I'm making, potentially quitting, literally everything. You guys are probably curious of what it's like to work one of those kind of fast food jobs. If you guys do enjoy it, I'm make this a series but over the next month we're gonna make this totally dedicated to McDonald's and everything you kind of want to know about it but I don't really know if this is gonna work you know we got to start at the roots we got to start at what it's like to kind of in my opinion just kind of be at the bottom which obviously isn't a bad thing but you know we got to go down to the roots see what it's like to be a part-time employee working at a place like McDonald's and everything it entails. I'm trying to bring you guys along every step of the way. I'm trying to secure as much of that spy gear just so I don't get caught along the process. If I do, that'll be pretty awkward, but I hope you guys do enjoy. And with that said, let's get right into it. So I was actually looking for a couple different like spy glasses, pen options, and honestly they weren't that expensive. I was looking at a few of them over here on Amazon. There's like this pen here, it's like 35 bucks, and then let's see the glasses. Like they were all right, but I just feel like these are just so bulky. I don't know, like I feel like it's obvious with these, and so I don't think that that's gonna be a good option. Um, like honestly, I feel like if they saw that, they'd probably, I don't know, just not vibe with it or they catch on. I mean, you have to be kind of dumb to figure out that those aren't spy glasses. So I think for the interview at least, um, and this might, might not be true for all of them, I'm gonna just stick with my phone. I think that's the best. I can either kind of like put it in a pocket, at least for now. So hopefully those uniforms maybe have pockets. I. Disclaimer, I have worked at McDonald's before, like when I was a teenager, I mean, who hasn't? But um, those old ones had pockets, so I can kind of stick it and like record on my phone. Um, or at least for this interview, I could just kind of hold it on the table, just kind of do something like that, just kind of casual. Um, so I obviously want to get the best quality. I want to get audio as well for you guys, but I think that might be the best option going forward. It might change, but I think now's the time we're actually gonna apply to an actual position at McDonald's. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I'm looking at this position. I actually went on the McDonald's website and I think crew member is the best one. Obviously I live around here. Um, and I was looking at the job description. They actually have some pretty cool benefits like PTO, um, let's see, high school diploma, program fee, you can get college education, you get discounts on things like Canon, Apple, Beats, pizza parties they have. So honestly, some of this is honestly pretty cool. Um, but here's kind of the requirement. So I think it's pretty much anything like they will put you wherever they need you. So I think this is the one I'm actually going to apply for. So for now, I think I'm gonna put the 20 hours a week. Um, hopefully that doesn't like affect my application, um, but I'm trying to start as quick as possible. All right guys, I just kind of submitted my life information and everything to know about me, but I think I'm ready to apply. So I think this should be the last button. Yes. So most people in these situations are just gonna sit around. So I'll probably give it about 24 hours if I don't hear anything, which is about a 95% chance because I mean, as I told you before, I've worked for McDonald's for probably about four and a half years. I've given my life to them, um, so obviously, 
I most likely will get employed, hopefully. I mean, uh, it's a little outdated. It's been since six years ago since I last worked for them, um, but that's probably something that they're looking for, so I, hopefully I can get the job. If not, I'm just gonna go to a different location. But this is probably the closest one to me. But as I was saying before, most people just sit around. If I'm gonna give it about 24 hours and then I'm gonna call the actual store and see and try to get a check-in. Um, that's how I used to get a lot of jobs. I just would call. A lot of people don't end up calling and that job application just gets kind of put out with the hundreds of others that apply. So let's see what happens. I'll get you guys updated. I'll probably record that phone call. Um, but hopefully we can get the job by the end of the week. I, that would be pretty cool for the video. So I'll catch up with you probably later in the week. A few moments later. Hi, um, I had a quick question. Um, I, I had applied to as a crew member a couple days ago. Um, are you guys currently hiring or was it just an application? Because I haven't heard anything back, so I just kind of wanted to follow up. What's your name? Uh, my name's Kish. Is Ronnie? I'm sorry, what's your name? Uh, Kish. K-I-S-H. That's my first name. Okay, can you come in tomorrow at 9 a.m.? 9 a.m.? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Who sh uh, uh, who and should I? My name is Brenda, okay? Brenda? Yes. Okay, alright, see you tomorrow, Brenda. Thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. All you really do is just have to reach out, which a lot of people didn't. And I honestly was kind of getting skeptical because when I applied for the McDonald's, I guess all of them are franchisee owned. So I went to like a third party company website and it, I didn't see anything. So got the interview tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, it's Friday morning right now. I got my interview in about 20 minutes. Um, conveniently, the McDonald's that I applied to is actually like five minutes away from me, so it's not too bad. Um, I got my interview at 9 a.m. Um, and so I was trying to figure out how to film it, so obviously I'm not gonna bring this big old camera in there. That'd be pretty awkward. I got my phone, so I'm gonna try to record. I'm actually going to kind of slip it in this pocket, something like that. Um, just kind of casually do it. The camera kind of fits out pretty well, so I'm gonna stick with that. And then I got an idea from my buddy Will, the Financial Wolf. Um, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, definitely check it out. But I'm gonna be using my GoPro. I forgot I had this. I'm kind of probably gonna use it as a second angle. Probably just like put it on the bench or the seat, put it between my legs, so we can kind of get a double angle for you guys, um, just in case one kind of cuts out or audio goes out on one of them. So pretty excited. Hopefully we can get the job. Um, or else it'll make this series kind of pointless, but I hope you guys do enjoy. With that said, let's kind of drive over there and get the interview started. I'm chilling, how are you? <laughs> oh. Alright, so how do you say your name? Uh, Kish. Kish. Yeah, good. perfect. Alright, Kish, so talk to me. Sorry, I'm pulling your application. No, you're good. Why do you want to work here? Um, so I do have a little bit of experience with Let's McDonald's. Yeah, I've, I've probably worked about three and a half years. Um, Boring! So I'm pretty comfortable with it. And what do you do when you work there? Uh, I kind of did everything. I, I was a cashier for a while and then I did cooking for a while. Pretty much everything but any like upper tier kind of position to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I explored kind of the whole realm of it. Alright, alright. Yeah. And why are you looking for McDonald's with a financial degree? Uh, to be honest, so I kind of do my own thing. I, I own my own company, but it's just I don't work on it that many hours throughout the day. So I'm just looking for some side income. Um, right. And what's your job availability? Pretty much, I'm pretty flexible. I try not to work Monday nights because I do a bowling league. It's kind of random. And then 
Um, usually Sundays, I do a lot of bowling. It's just kind of a side hobby, so I'll have like a tournament on a Sunday or something. But other than that, I'm pretty flexible. Okay, so when you say flexible, what specifically, what's the, the hour range that you're available to work in the given day? I'd say 8 to 5, 8 to 8. doesn't really matter. I try not to like be an opening shift or a... I don't mind to close. I don't know what time you guys close here. We'll close at 12. 12, so that's manageable if you need something like that. Okay. I've had positions where they are open 24 hours, so it doesn't... Yeah. Under- no, we're not open 24 hours, but yeah. we are specifically looking for an evening person. Evening? Uh, can stay all the way till 12. Okay, that would work for me. Shift. Yeah. Uh, we do close um, at 1 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. Is something that you will be able to? That's fine, yeah. Given case? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And then, so let me tell you a little bit of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people that are dependable for work. This okay. is a fast food service industry. Yeah. Uh, we're always moving. It's uh, customer first, customer service, um, customer hospitality, customer speed of the service that we're giving. Absolutely. Um, we do have certain standards at McDonald's, mm-hmm. um, which is, you know, the, the, the values of the company and the brand, which is hospitality. Yeah. It's uh, the, the high quality of the product and the certain procedures that we follow whenever we're working. Yeah. As well as following operational procedures such as uh, COVID-19 situation, wearing yeah. masks, wearing gloves whenever you're behind the counter, and then we do a wellness checks and temperature checks on all of our employees okay. um, on a daily basis before they pass the counter. Okay, okay? cool. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Looking for people that are able to stock in a timely fashion, mm-hmm. bringing the product from the back end of the house to the front, mm-hmm. people that are able to cook in hot oils, hot grills, people that are able to sweep, mop, clean restrooms, wash dishes in a given situation, Perfect. Uh, help customers and foresee customers' needs mm-hmm. as well, and uh, make sure that we are you know, pretty much generating money by keeping and taking care of our customers. Yeah. Okay? okay. I'm looking for people that are able to work in a team setting. Okay. Uh, and that are not afraid to, you know, to cooperate with other people and work through management as well. Okay. Um, as well as you know, communicate effectively with one another. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. We are offering $13 starting pay. Bruh. We okay. will be going to $14 pretty soon. Okay. Uh, we still don't have a specific date, but it's within the next few months. Okay. Uh, so that's something, uh, you know, again, a way of compensating our employees. Yeah. Uh, I cannot stress enough the be on time and be if you're scheduled to work you're expected to be at work yeah absolutely it's part of, of the job okay and especially in this location yeah. you're kind of removed from everybody else there's no public transportation so our pool is quite limited yeah okay absolutely. so we're, we want to make sure that we have enough stuff to alleviate the workload for everybody else that's working okay uh, and then a given shift yeah perfect All right? okay we do require our employees to have a food handler certificate are you familiar with that i am not no okay food handler certificate is a basic Food safety and hygiene practices uh, certification that you obtain online. Okay. Uh, it is a requirement for anybody working in Maricopa County food service industry to have one and present one to their employee. Okay. Now, real quick, I know a lot of you are thinking, I'm saying, okay, okay, hmm, hmm, but I think that's a really good tip for like active listeners. It shows them that you're like actually listening and acknowledging what they're saying. So, before I get any hate on that. <laughs> so, if we decide to move forward with you, that's something that we would require within uh, the time of orientation. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of opportunity for growth with the McDonald's. We mm-hmm. are an independently owned franchise for McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So now, if I were to call the McDonald's, the last one that you put, the one on Rosemount, uh, how would you think they would rate your, your work ethic? Honestly, pretty good. Uh, I'd say pretty outstanding. You remember it it's yeah, it's, it's probably yeah. changed a few managers since then. But um, I, I've I've been recruited to McDonald's several times, so I've always kind of shown up, went on time, and stuff like that. So I don't think they'd ever have anything bad to say about me. Um, I'm pretty much somebody when you tell me to do something, I'll do it, um, and I'll put my best into it. And what about uh, what do you do as a sales representative for from this for us? Oh, that's that's my company. Okay, so that's your company. yeah, so I kind of do it on the side. What do you do there? Uh, it's a virtual receptionist company. So we um, we basically get boring. Alrighty. Um. So, how, what do you think about this? Do you think you're up for it? Do you want it? Absolutely, I do. Um, Have I scared you? <laughs> no, you're you're good. Um, yeah, I actually do want it, especially if you do want me at nights. I'm more than happy to. Um, I live like two minutes down the road, so okay. I'm sure I'll never be late or anything like that. Um, and I'm honestly looking for possibly getting to an opportunity where you can work your way up. Okay. So um, if we can explore that opportunities months or a year or two down the road. I would love to kind of no, be yeah, on the that. McDonald's is pretty quick on that. You know, it really all depends on the person. Okay. And, uh, their 
will and you know, really their drive yeah. uh, to do to do anything here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, operational things, you know, such as procedures and steps, um, they're very, pretty easy to to learn. They're pretty basic. And yeah. It involves a lot of common sense, but yeah. it, that's something that you're looking for, you know, growth in the near future. Yeah. Uh, it's very attainable. Okay. That's good to hear. It is very. Okay. And this company is always looking to promote people. Uh, they right. do promote people from within. Uh, for, from per person to ship manager to department manager to general okay. managers wow. um, as well and uh, okay. most of our supervisors uh, are also formed within the, the restaurant okay here. All right. so there's always an opportunity awesome all right good to hear all right so i would like to extend the job offer to you i appreciate that thank you how about would you be available let's see monday what time for an orientation, mm -hmm. 2 p.m. How long does that usually last? I just have it's like the... like an hour and a half. Oh, hours. that should be fine. No, I have max. I will need you to bring two forms of ID for, okay. uh, for E-Verify. Okay. And I will be sending you an onboarding email today. Okay. Uh, probably within the next 20 minutes. Yeah. And uh, we'll make sure that you complete that prior to attending orientation. Will that have the... Do I have to do that uh, certification? Will that be in there, or is that? There'll be some information in regards to certification. Okay. As well, uh, you can do it either today, tomorrow. Yeah. It's a I'll get it done weekend. pretty quick. Yeah. Even on Monday, it takes thirty minutes to thirty-five minutes. Okay. Uh, for you to complete the, the basic uh, course. Okay. And then uh, you can print the certificate, or you can at that time the orientation email it to me here. Okay. And we can retrieve that as well. And then what about, I know in the past you had to get certain shoes. Do I need to get those? Or? Sorry, not okay. Sorry. Right, so, you, no, you're fine. So yeah. uniform uh, part. So we do provide you with shirts and a uh, hat or a visor as okay. well as your name tag. You are responsible for bringing work shoes that are appropriate for work. Black full toe cover shoes Yeah. Uh, that are slip resistant. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, black pants that are work appropriate. No cargo pants, no ripped jeans, no nothing of that nature. Yes. Yeah. Normal trousers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we will provide you with the shirts. What shirt size are you? Large. Large. Okay, yeah. We'll have those for you. Okay. And would you rather have a hat or a visor? Um, I'll do a visor. A visor. Or a okay. visor kind of guy. So we'll have that ready for you at the time of orientation, and then at that time we'll have your schedule for, for, uh, for work. Oh, for are work. you available to start anytime, or do you have any specific? Yeah. No. Anytime during that week, I'm more okay. than happy to start. So. All right. So more than likely, uh, we'll have you start in the middle of that week next week. Okay. Do you typically start like full on eight hours or is it you kind of work your it way? It depends on okay. the person and yeah. you know, what's not. Or do you feel comfortable with that or do you think... You if I could start a little bit less and work my way yeah, up, yeah, that'd be awesome. That. Okay, just, just to let you know. So again, used to, I don't wear the mask. I don't go out that often, so I'm trying to get used to the mask wearing it that much. But gotcha. um, do you well, know where I'd exactly start or you just kind of... No, we'll, we'll take a look into that and then we'll... Let okay, you know we'll yeah, no worries. No worries. All right. All right Any so. questions for me? I think we got it all covered. Okay. All right. I got Thank it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. See you then. Um, Monday at 2, right? Correct. Okay. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. See you. I got the job. Let's go, baby. I got the job. Nice. Let's go. Where's your phone? I didn't end up using that. Why? I, it was really hard, too. He was sitting like right next to me. Oh. So that's kind of weird. You but used your phone? I used my phone. Um, Did you check if it stopped recording? I, it, was a guy? it showed 10 minutes. Yeah, it was a dude, really nice guy. I'm going to be starting to do late night shifts. So till like 12, which isn't Why? that bad. They need that. Oh, okay. And I figured that's not bad because I don't do anything at starting night. Starting when? Monday's my orientation just for an hour. At I said time? I have bowling. So at 1 is the orientation. And then I said, can you start me with a few hours starting and then work my way up? He said, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh -huh. But he's starting me at 13 bucks an hour, which was the minimum. Oh, I probably should have negotiated good. that, but that's the minimum. Well, minimum wage in Arizona is $12. Oh, okay. Well, still, I feel so like with an experience. it's a dollar above minimum wage. But, but pretty nice, dude. They didn't have that many people working in there, which was pretty cool. Um, and so like what what's a normal shift like from what from like 5 to 12? It'll probably be like eight hours. It'll probably start like 6 to 12 or 6 to 12 or 7 four. to 12 yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot you do have breaks, but This is like a very non-busy McDonald's, which is pretty cool 
like they had one old lady in the front desk but not one person came in and maybe one person came in and ordered that whole time and this is like prime friday breakfast time but they don't get a lot of foot traffic here you guys can see like well you guys can't see it all but this this is like kind of the nicer part of arizona scottsdale and this is like kind of out there so I gotta bring two forms of ID on Monday. We have an hour orientation. I gotta get non-slip shoes and then pants. Are they, do you have to get like a food, like a food worker, like um, certification type of thing? I do. I to, I've never had to do that, but I had to just you do this to online do certification real quick, so. Are they a 24 hour location? No, they're open till midnight, that's why I said. So you're closing. I'm closing, which is kind of chill. I don't do anything at night. And if at night I can film for you guys a little bit easier because there's only like three or four people working ever and I can yeah. just put my thing up there. There's GoPro, so. Um, Wait, what position did you get? He's just gonna put me somewhere. Oh, okay. But, I mean, through the, at nighttime it's usually just drive through, yeah. if I remember, so. So wouldn't you just be like cook or working? No, I'll probably be like register. Register? But, no. Watch out. Got the job. Big baller kish, huh? <laughs> I'm going to be making bank. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want me to make another vlog, if this can get to, let's say, at least 100 likes, um, I'll show you the orientation. We're going to go behind the counter of McDonald's. Um, it'll be about an hour shift, they said, so obviously I'm going to get paid for it. But if you guys want to see more about it, um, kind of the day-to-day, -day, how how the food's prepared, everything like that, um, obviously I'm going to try to keep this somewhat entertainment, but also bring you value with um, kind of how the business is run with McDonald's, how efficient it is, because um, I, I want to make it kind of uh, the best of both worlds. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I hope you guys are liking this type of content, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.